Good morning to everybody except those who low bar back squat. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I I like powerlifters too. In fact, I have I have a friend that powerlifts. I used to work with him. He's alright, I guess. Eddie, I love you, bud. I've been getting a lot of comments, or not a lot. I've gotten like two, but it's just kind of stuck out in my brain because they've been like consistent over the past few videos, asking me programming questions or how to like structure double workouts. Most likely, I'm going to be saving the double workout structuring for when I go back into two doubles i just feel like that'll be a lot more applicable and relatable and i'll be able to explain it better because i'm doing it but as far as programming questions i do not do not know a single shit on how to program but i'm not gonna leave you guys hanging so i'm gonna give you my my best my best brain cells forward and if it's wrong it's wrong we're not gonna be really going into programming i'm just going to be going into kind of how the workouts are structured that I do. Cause my job, I have to just go in there and lift the weights. That's all my job is. That's all your job is as an athlete too. If you're a coach, um, maybe you wanna go watch Zach Talander or like Juggernaut Strength or I don't know, some some coaching thing. If you're here anyway, like finish the video, I appreciate it. We're about to hop into this video. I just killed breakfast. Breakfast has just been going down super easy lately. So I'm gonna go shower, wash up real quick. Yeah, we'll, we'll jump right into the video and we'll get into it how the workouts are structured all right y'all we are back i also wanted to give a little disclaimer all of this knowledge if it is if it even is that that i'm passing on towards you guys i did learn all of this from my coach the one and only joe michella and it's just what i've picked up on over the years so so the very first part of our workouts guys is going to be general warm-up this will be anything to get your blood flowing blood circulating around the body it could be a little different for different people but the main things he has me do when he for my general warm-up is to I'll either go on like a jog about half a mile three quarters of a mile or it'll either be jump rope say four sets of two minutes five sets of two minutes four sets of one and a half minutes and the other thing that we do I go like ten minutes on the air assault bike I've done that a good amount of times done that multiple times a week and when we do this here's the catch for our general warm-up he's been making us only breathe through our nose like you we're not allowed to open our mouths and if you see someone talking he's like you talking because that means your mouth is open and that means you're breathing through your mouth he read this book about the benefits of breathing through your nose only and i guess we're, we're experimenting with it it makes it does make it a lot harder then again once you start doing it you breathing through your mouth feel like you can do a lot more your cardiovascular feels a lot better for the second part of our warm-up this is where we kind of warm up the muscles this is where we do anything like if coach notices something has been tight on you or an imbalance we address this in also in the specific warm-ups you could do the mcgill big three reverse hypers um, pull-ups we could do external rotations there's just there's a bunch of warm-ups that we do there's not really a specific formula it's just kind of also based on the movements you're doing for that day so and they're kind of catered to you and your body and what you need to be warmed up for the day and those go um, anywhere between three to four exercises three sets on those each and, and we do them as like a circuit so I hope that helped I know it's very general but again this video Video is just going over the structure of our workouts that is the first part and I'm going to get on some homework because I've been putting it off for a very long time from the past week of drop week I've been cranking out videos too and I'm just like screw it I'll push it to the next day and it's kind of catching up to me so we got to grind out some homework <music> been three hours since my morning intake so that means it's food time if any of you are wondering why I'm about to to 
eat outside, oh my gosh, with my shirt off is because not only do I want to be jacked and anabolic, I also want to get tan. Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, so I gotta look good for the boy. In all seriousness, I, no, I'm not trying to look good for the boys. I am, um, not, not that there's anything wrong with trying to look good for boys. I mean, if that's what, that's what floats your boat, that's what floats your boat. I'm not judging you. No one's judging you. Go for it. I, I have a woman. Not, not that I own a woman, because that's what they did back then. Not saying that owning a woman is right. That's just what they did in the past, but I, I don't own a woman. What I'm trying, I have a girlfriend, and I was, I was just making a joke. Yeah, but, um, I'm just, I'm just out here because with my current schedule, I'm inside a lot and I need to start being in nature, getting some more vitamin D, I feel like. So that's the real reason. And uh, you'll get a nice little tan, so why not? I need to get better. And this wide angle lens, man, either make you huge or like makes you look skinny. So now the second part of structuring our workouts. Now after our general warmups and all that stuff, we are now on to the Olympic lifts. Stop blowing wind. Three parts. The first part of the Olympic lift section is going to be your bar progressions. I do bar progressions every time and I encourage you to do the same. Do them intentionally, do them thoughtfully and put effort into them. You'll see the rest of your workout will transition smoothly and it, it'll just hammer in your technique. Like why not? Don't be lazy. Second part of the Olympic weightlifting section. The second part is mainly for when I'm not in competition or peak shape because competition shape you're kind of in that heavy single mode this is kind of when preparing for competition shape this is also something that normally we do when we're only performing one lift a day like snatch in one day and then clean your jerk the next day some sort of technique variation such as like yesterday for snatch the variation was we were doing pulls and then our snatches um so we do all our pulls first snatch pull snatch pull snatch snatch to 100 and my working sets were up to 110 yesterday just on snatch so you kind of work up to it and it's kind of a technique it could be anything from like um some days we literally do snatches from above knee hang and then we'd go from the floor it's just really anything for example a clean and jerk day um some days it'll be a clean pool clean from above knee and then a push press you know it's just it's really anything just to kind of hammer in the technique and then after you do that it is part three of the olympic lifting section now is where you perform your working sets for the day the most important part of the workout in my eyes we were in a competition like cycle um peaking for competition we'd go straight i'd go straight from bar progressions into just warming up for the lifts right just the triples at the lighter percentages then to doubles then to singles right really all depends on your cycle could be volume could be singles could be doubles could be lot low percentage high percentage all but this is just the main core of the workout the main thing the most important part of the olympic weightlifting workout and th this is where you should be super warmed up mentally sharp and you should be ready to attack your working sets usually after that little technique thing we will drop back down the weight the normal starting weight and then full-on snatch that's it your your main core exercise and variation of the day is what i'm trying to say so that is olympic weightlifting section of the workout i did my best to explain that a lot of this should depends on the cycle and timing of like between competitions post competition week out three weeks out month out it all really depends the structure again guys is is going to be the same for no matter the cycle it goes the warm-up the olympic lifting section and then you guys will see the other two i'm going to eat this meal it is about a hybrid i call it a hybrid meal half for pleasure and half for purpose it is not the like super cleanest but you know it has it's it's drunken noodles it's a thai dish um i got it embrace my inner roots i do not know how to cook any thai food but my dad does so i need to learn because i don't know anything it's noodles a bunch of chicken and then like these broccolinis they're just it's like some it's like broccoli's cousin basically but yeah it's good your macronutrients so it's it's a hybrid purposeful meal what is up everybody it is that time to head out to training clean and jerks today um you know the deal it is pre-workout ingestion time so i know i wore the shirt last time for the clean and jerk workout but um 
I just saw it and I coincidentally put it on. I do want to get more stringers. I just, I, I like this outfit. I know I've been wearing like the same outfits, but honestly, I don't really have that much gym outfits because I haven't really been investing in clothing just because it's not the right investment right now. I've been, well, I technically invested in clothing, but you know what I mean. You look good, you feel good, you play good, and I got to look good with what I got. Only problem with stringers and weightlifting is if like you're doing a clean and jerk or a front squat and you get super sweaty like in the summer I could slip off a little easier the bar could slip off your your shelf so but um you guys know the deal it's pre-workout time beta alanine of course I'm running low you know I, I'm just gonna take this with water because last time with carbonation just totally exploded in my mouth I've been sipping on this I know I know I said I was gonna chill but they're just so good. There's like three quarters of this left. I'll just throw this bad boy out right there. <coughs> I feel alive. Beta alanine. I know I talked about this before, but if you guys didn't hear me, beta alanine is just helps with muscle endurance. I, forgot, I remember reading a lot about it when I worked at One Stop Nutrition, but I just know it's for muscle endurance and it helps a lot to block like beta, it helps a lot to block um, lactic acid. I forgot the exact term. Not, it's not an inhibitor, um, not a precursor. It's like with acids and bases. Not a, it's like a neutralizer to lactic acid, to lactic acid buffer. That's what it is. F yeah. Cheers. All right, well in that case, it's time to go. Before I go real quick, controversial topic. Are these guys fake natties? Well, we know, we know, we know Elian. He's not a fake natty, he just got caught. Shaijun and Demas, are they fake natties? Comment, comment down below what you think. I want, I want to know what you guys think. If, if some of our legends are actually fake natties, which, Alright guys, I really want to take this time to explain the third part of our structuring of our workouts, but I also want to really quickly let you guys know what went on this workout. Um, 150 kilo jerk recoveries, um, 140 clean doubles, and 140 jerk doubles. It's good to be feeling weight again, but still a bit rusty. As you can, as you will see, I'm bumping the clean a bit away from me. I'm bringing myself to the bar instead of the bar to me. And I really think this is just more time uh, needed, more reps needed. And again, you just, if you want to lift heavy weight with technical sound, you're gonna have to lift heavy weight. Um, so it's just, it's just rustiness basically. But uh, enough of that. I want to get into the fourth or not the fourth the third part of our structuring of our workouts um it's not going to really coincide with what you guys are exactly watching right now but i figured i'd take the commentary to explain this which is going to be um the strength part of our workout so the strength building part of our workout is going to consist of two main things two very key main things in olympic weightlifting your pull and your squat um if we are not pulling that day we are squatting and if that day we are not squatting we are pulling doesn't matter how heavy how many reps we are doing it um some days we will even pull depending on the program again a lot of this depends we will even um we even squat and pull in the same day um, but here, coincidentally, of course, when I'm making the video about it, we do not squat or pull today. In fact, we do the jerk recoveries, which I consider a strength building aspect of the sport. Um, it is really just a really simple motion and it's just really all for overhead stability. So it's a strength building movement. So, um, and I know we do it at the beginning of our workout but mainly the strength building uh, part comes after the Olympic lifting 
after the Olympic lifting. So after we work up, finish our working sets, you will start pulls or you will, um, or you will squat. Um, depending on the cycle, again, sometimes we would do the strength part before the Olympic lifts. Like I remember when I first started going to the gym or when I first started training with Joe, we would um, squat after the Olympic lifts on Monday and Fridays and then Wednesday would be the day where we uh, we squatted first and that really was mainly just to fatigue us throw the body off and make sure to really have to focus during the Olympic lifts because you're already fatigued from the squats um, and then the Tuesdays and Saturdays we would be pulling um, that was when I first came to Joe's uh, program obviously switches up a bit but again guys these are these main core principles so um yeah the strength part is a super crucial thing and when i see people getting pinned in cleans it's just it's just simple you you got to front squat more you got to back squat more if you your pull strength is lacking well you maybe but your leg strength's fine well maybe go harder on the pool so just gaining strength is super super important so um yeah that that is the third part of our workout, the strength side, and it does take up a good amount of time. It's also a very uh, fatiguing part of the workout, and yeah, so um, enjoy the rest of the workout. Enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you guys are enjoying this video so far, hoping it's bringing you some sort of value. If it's not learning anything, I hope I am entertaining you, or you just enjoy watching me lift or talk. I don't know, but um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and Enjoy the rest of the video. Alright y'all, we are home now. I'm eating a salmon filet on top of some salad with some sesame dressing. I did have two pieces of like just some meaty ass pizza, like a bunch of meat, There's just a bunch of toppings, there were some thick pizzas. So I so I knew like my carbs and stuff were good, but I don't want to have any more carbs because I'm just trying my best to like stay lean, fairly lean. So I knew I was going to need more protein and vegetables, so that's why I made this real quick. Before we ended the video, I wanted to go over the last part of our structuring of our workouts. Again, I did not record like in the back room for the accessory movements because it was busy and it was people going back and forth and I just didn't want to be annoying and set up the camera and people were like wondering if they could go in front of it or not and coach Joe's like gosh this kid's a fucking douchebag I don't want him to think that you know what I mean oh <laughs> we actually are gonna have a solution for this potentially coming up in the near future which is going to be super exciting so there's a big surprise coming the last part of structuring our workout is going to be our accessories right so this includes um any sort of bodybuilding um any sort of agility cardiovascular aerobic movements and then any type of core strengthening exercises so for bodybuilding um we typically do those first during our accessory um, we usually either do like curls some sort of curling movement with the tricep movement or we do some sort of shoulder or pressing movement like bench press incline press 
close grip bench press, shoulder press, dumbbell press. Just press with some sort of pulling or rowing. Pull-ups, weighted pull-ups is a very um, common exercise we use. It's either going to be like the chest, the back, and shoulders, or it's going to be bicep forearms and triceps. It's never really, never really do curls with bench press, or we never really do curls with, you know, um, shoulder press. So those are kind of always split together. Aerobic agility thing could be really anything. It could be like box jumps, it could be over hurdles, then to box jump. It could be what I've been doing recently. We've been doing 90, 90 jumps onto an aerobic step up. Also, just one-legged jumps to really strengthen the knee because I my knees had been a problem in the past. So we're trying to strengthen them up now before we get super heavy. Um, so stuff like that, anything like that. And then again, anywhere between four to five sets. And then the last thing will be core. Um, core is always supersetted. We usually always have two exercises of core supersetted. Always five sets, only really becomes four sets if it's like a competition week or a deload week but it's usually always five sets and if it's like a rep sort of thing it's usually always 25 to 30 reps and if it's um a weighted type of thing um it's usually anywhere between 40 to a minute and if anything if it's above one minute you're probably using something that's too light and if it's below it's probably too heavy so anything would be like planks side planks leg raises um, Russian twists, uh, med bull throws into the wall, uh, we even do farmer walks, farmer walks holding one above our head, carrying one uneven weighted farmer walk, one ha arm farmer walks, um, there's just a lot of core hypers is a big one actually, it could be reverse hypers, we just we just have a lot of core exercises we perform. So um, that is going to bring us to the end of the video, uh, that is the structure of our workout and that's all the like accessories we have. So um, my camera is about to die so I'm sorry that I'm hurrying this up. Uh, one more quick thing I wanted to say was that I haven't been on my personal Instagram too often, if I do it's just kind of to like reply to messages. I do. I'm running like three Instagrams on my phone right now, so if it says I've been logged in on there, I like I am, but like I'm not really active on it. I don't really scroll through my feed. So if you guys message me and I'm not like responding right away, it's not like I'm ignoring you guys. I get back to you as fast as I can. And if you want to message me, feel free to. I'm always open to help you guys out or whatnot or just connect with uh, with you guys. It's awesome. But I'm, my main activity is going to be on the Suck Less accounts because that's what I'm trying to grow. And I honestly think like personal Instagram is just is just kind of toxic and I find myself scrolling through my Instagram, my personal Instagram feed a lot less because I just, I don't really want to anymore. Um, I hope this video got brought you guys some value and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Yeah, so I will see you guys. Today's Friday for y'all. I will see you guys on Monday. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Have a great weekend. Stay focused on your goals. If you're new around here, baby, hit that sub button. Yeah, I appreciate everything you guys. I'll see y'all at the top because we're all making it together, baby.